Hello, I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of our angle versus torque guide. Now, if you know, torques are very difficult to set. There are so many uh, different factors for friction and such like. But if you um, understand this or search the internet, you'll realize that actually the angle you rotate the bolt is a very good guide of the actual torque that's being applied. So what's happening is it, it all depends on your free length of shaft here so if you've got a short shaft then you initially clamp it down tight just till you're biting uh, and then from there you twist and the shaft will extend depending on its length so the amount of that extension um, you can calculate quite simply what the um, the angle is so once you know this length it's a very good way of working out what your torques are um, obviously quite complicated to do on the job so with this one if you change your length here it tells you what angle so you you can measure this quite easily so you can predict what torque you're going to get in now the um, angle is based on the yield point a lot of people um, torque up to the yield points but you know if you're if you're in shear here you're not a uh, clamping then it's um it's different again so people will have different levels perhaps even 75 percent or something and you just adjust this by that percentage uh, you really what we're trying to do is to make sure that in service you don't achieve any stresses in the bolt that are greater uh, than what it's clamped down to so as long as the stress is not changing in here you increase the fatigue like of the bolt obviously if you clamp it down loosely and then the stress the forces on it are continuously uh, acting on it then that will fatigue the bolt more quickly so that's the whole point of this and this is a nice simple way of checking that now let's have a look at hydraulic port adapters to start off with. there's not a lot we can do on these um, but here you have a picture because there's no shaft so really we should be not you're not going to rotate these at any angle at all because uh, we haven't got any shaft to extend it's just this narrow piece of material here so really all this is doing is um is giving you some information on the uh if you had a 350 bar pressure you get a certain amount of newtons and that will give you a torque so that's the only torque you've got to be higher than this uh people will torque to yield 0.70 percent 75 percent of yield perhaps so it gives you those values as well and um it's just giving you some more information um, we talk about pre-assembly, assembly and then remake which is not significant for these but we'll come on to that in a minute. So this is one of the main reasons for this calculator. So in the olden days we were using ferrules and some of the clamping type fittings and the general you need to be trained to tighten these. Uh, and you have a pre-assembly, an assembly and a remake uh, procedures for doing this very difficult to find this information from catalogues uh, this is why it's all on here for all the major fittings so what's happening now it, it's not really applying the torque into the fitting which you know we'd be looking for extension in here we're not doing that at all but we are actually compressing the fitting into the cone here so when you first make it, it's all new, it's not seated properly, so you'll have a an angle that you need to assemble this to. Um, we've been through all the catalogues and put these angles in here on all the different sizes. Uh, I was concerned because a lot of uh, fitters just say, oh, we know it's quarter of a turn or half a turn. Um, and that applies for a range of sizes on a range of fittings. And if you know what you're doing, that's fine. but uh, it's difficult to remember them so they're all in here with all the different fittings um, you'll have your pre-assembly your assembly because once you've reclamped it in and smoothed it all out the next time it's not quite the same and the remake so when you're taking it apart a couple of times um, we always recommend you mark it so we've got your procedures in here again read the text you tighten it in and you mark it so we know where that point is we know where those retorque port points are because it's unlikely you'll have the torque from the um, initial time that it was assembled. 
Uh, but we really don't like these. Right, so uh, another fitting because these days hopefully you're using face-to-face -face fittings. By the m and a lot of the older fittings have changed, so although they've got the same name, they're now shoulder fittings. They're clamping to a shoulder, so they don't have any initial pre-assembly because this is always in a room for error and fitter errors and not being done properly. So by removing that pre-compression. Uh, makes the fittings a lot more reliable and they seal better so you have to be careful because these days you can't put in that quarter turn because there's nothing to extend there's no shaft length so they will overstress them uh, but again assembly procedures are written in the manuals and they're difficult and you need to mark it because people don't know what's actually happened uh, and we are still getting during assembly so you make sure it's all clean there's no real pre-assembly during assembly you've got these two flats 120 degrees whatever and again it changes by the different size so you need to go through and find the one you've got and also make sure you're on the right materials we offer a number of materials here uh, as normal ones perhaps but you're not necessarily doing that if you're a stainless steel obviously you need to lubricate um, so it is quite a compl very complex with all these different fittings uh, and this tool should really help you find out um, what you're trying to do and it does provide additional information and use the website as well uh, just something else to notice that if you are checking with angles then clearly this uh, on a mobile phone uh, it will if you turn your mobile phone then you'll measure the angle so it's giving you some help to actually set the angles and also the other thing we've got here is if you're putting a particular torque on sometimes it's difficult to get torque meters um, and you might do it by gauge and feel if you're absolutely stuck without a torque meter. This is just saying if you've got a length of shaft, um, you can put in the length of your spanner and you can put in your pulling mass because then you can work out your, uh, gives you your torque and you know roughly if you're putting two pounds of sugar or 20 kilograms or whatever, you're putting on that, um, that shaft at that length and it gives you the torque. So it's a little bit help just to, to get a gauge if you are really stuck without the proper tools. Uh, let me know how you get on with this. It's uh, hopefully a useful little tool and um, lots of uses. Please let me know if there's fittings that aren't included and you'd like to have put in. Okay.